I wanted to make this tutorial because this is an issue that I saw and tried looking for and only one video helped me so far. I don't know if this is an issue that still goes on for most people but if you're finding this issue then just keep on watching. If you're like me, you've got your Oculus Rift S for Christmas, you know, um, you plug it in, fucking, you install all your games uh, and they will just start crashing. This video is about trying to help you stop SteamVR from crashing basically and this should work with any SteamVR game and it probably will work with any Steam game, non-VR. But um, yeah, one thing I forgot to say in the video is make sure you've obviously uninstalled and reinstalled Oculus, the app, um, before you do any of this. And make sure it's plugged in properly. Sometimes you've got a loose connection, you know, it fucks up your graphics card, makes it confused, um, and that causes crashing. But yeah, two fixes, I think, two possible fixes. I did both, and it they seem to work for me. So you'll see what I mean. Basically, open Steam, open Steam, go to library, toggle VR. You want to see Steam VR. And if you haven't installed that, obviously install it because it's pretty necessary. Although I think it installs it for you, I don't know. Right click, properties, betas, and that will be on none for you. Switch it to Steam VR beta update, and that will just install the beta version for you, and it should say beta when it's finished. It might take like two minutes or something. Once you do that, minimize that, go to your file explorer. Let me drag this over here. Um, right click this PC, properties, opened on another screen again. Um, advanced system settings once again this should just help with any game from crashing um, and this is really weird because I didn't even know Windows did this and it's kind of shit for them to do it but um, go to it probably should be on advanced already but go to advanced performance settings and click advanced again and down here it should say virtual memory just click on this and whatever drive you have that game on basically it should un uncheck this as well um, this will probably be on one of these, you want to check it on custom size, I did it for all of my drives because uh, I've got so many games, um, but yeah you might as well do it for all, this will be on like 2000 and that will be on like 6, that's what mine was like, basically you want to change all of these to however much RAM you have in your system and if you don't know how much RAM, right click on here, task manager, um, performance, oh shit, performance and it should say right there, I've got 16 gigs um, and that's more than enough, actually I think that's the minimum requirements for VR, so if you don't have 16, you might want to think about getting some more. Um, yeah, so just put in 16, and it's in megabytes, so it's obviously 16,000, if you know how to do maths. Um, yeah, and you, initial size, I've set that to 6, um, I don't think the initial size really matters, but make sure it's on 16 or 10, however much you want to set, but do as much as you can, and then hit set for all of them. It's very important that you hit set, and then just click OK, I'm, I've already done it, so I'm going to click cancel and you might want to restart your PC and hopefully your shit should work. Um, let me know if this helped you guys. Uh, this is the first tutorial I've ever made just because um, I didn't find, I found one video which is this guy that helped me find that. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you know, subscribe if you want to, but um, yeah, peace.